Lithium interferes with the function of the phosphatidylinositol system by inhibiting the enzyme inositol monophosphatase, or IMPase. This second messenger system is initiated by binding to G-protein coupled receptors, which activates phospholipase C, which in turn hydrolyzes phosphatidylinositol biphosphate, or PIP2. This leads to the production of the second messengers, diacylglycerol, or DAG, and IP3. IP3 is converted by IMPase into free inositol, which is necessary for resynthesis of PIP2 and thus future iterations of this cascade. Lithium stops IMPase from turning inositol monophosphate into free inositol by binding to its magnesium site. This means that there is less available inositol for resynthesis into PIP2, and thus the formation of DAG and IP3 is reduced. This is important for two reasons. First, DAG activates protein kinase C, or PKC. A reduction in DAG formation would therefore lead to less PKC activity. PKC is overactive in mania. Correspondingly, PKC inhibition has been shown in preliminary trials to reduce acute manic symptoms. Thus, lithium's downstream inhibition of PKC via IMPase inhibition may be one explanation for its therapeutic effects. Second, IP3 facilitates calcium release and inhibits the autophagy pathway. Reducing IP3 thus decreases calcium release which in turn reduces cellular stress and activation of proapoptotic proteins. Reducing IP3 also disinhibits the autophagy pathway, thus preserving neurons that might otherwise be unnecessarily destroyed.